Hi everybody, welcome back to Movie Related. Ah! <laughs> that is because Mark made us watch a movie. Ah. Well, there's a new remake out. It's on Amazon Prime, so if you have Amazon Prime, you can watch it. And we know remakes always suck. Generally speaking, yes. Thanks for coming. And and let's uh, let's let's call it like it is. We saw Imaginary. No. We saw Ghostbusters. Yeah. We saw Godzilla X Kong. <laughs> okay. We're on a roll. They all sucked. Okay. So Roadhouse. <laughs> Hi, I wonder what Paul thinks of Roadhouse. <laughs> um, so, Roadhouse stars Jake Gyllenhaal in this remake. Uh, in case you don't know, if you remember Jake Gyllenhaal from his younger days, a skinny young guy, well, he's buffed up. Yeah. He was he's huge. Ripped. He's jacked, yeah. right? Uh, so, he can fit this role, I think. He's not a tall guy, but he fits this role. He's got a weird face, though. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> Doesn't he? Like, there's something about his face that's a little weird. Um, okay. <laughs> Mark's hot take. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jake, what's wrong with your face? <laughs> I guess. Now, in the original, Patrick Swayze was a bouncer, but he was like a, a martial artist. He wasn't know. a bouncer, he was a cooler. He did Tai Chi and, and he was a karate guy, but in this one, Jake Gyllenhaal is a UFC fighter with a... A history. He was a really good UFC fighter until something happened. Dun dun dun! Okay, yeah. do, do we want to talk about the original first and then this one, or do we want to just... Well, everybody's seen the original, it was in the 80s. Yes, but there are things to say about the original. Okay, what did you think? Okay, original Patrick Swayze Roadhouse. What did you think about that one? Oh, that was hot trash. <laughs> like I, I was, I was watching and I had to turn it off. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like back in the day, it was okay to watch. Maybe, but I, I think I've moved on from '80s movies now <laughs> because the sound was bad, the acting was cringy, the style of the, what people looked like was horrid. Uh, it was talking my childhood. <laughs> I, I know, I know. I would have told you like before I rewatched it that oh yeah, Roadhouse. But then I reminded myself... By watching it. It was... You're talking about what people wear, and you're wearing a douchey t-shirt. Oh, yeah, super like, douchey. <laughs> have a super douchey day. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so I, I didn't really like watching the original again. I, I thought it was very cringy. I was, I was completely the opposite. I just got all into the 80s again. It, this reminded me of The Running Man and Stallone movies and yeah. just the campiness of I those. I understand what Paul's saying, those. though. Like, if they're not exactly as oh, you remember them. Well, yeah. Like, it's like stereotypical bad guys in those days, over-the-top bad guys and all this kind of stuff. And, and uh, Patrick Swayze in the first one, uh, he is the bouncer manager of the Double Deuce. And he comes in, and he's already... Uh, an alpha. Like, he's telling everybody, it's my way or the highway, this is how you do things or you're out, blah 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 blah, but you'd be nice doing it. That's him. He's very... He's very... He's cool. He's a cooler. He calms things I don't down. Even think he's, it's, in, he's, it's, he's in charge. He's alpha dog cool. Yes. And, and that's different than Jake Gyllenhaal in this one. Way different. Mm -hmm. Jake Gyllenhaal is Mr. Nice Guy. Yeah, pussycat. Teddy bear. But... It's real. It's genuine. He's a nice guy. Mm -hmm. Like, he kicks the crap out of five or six people. And then drives them to the hospital. Yeah. And, and before he kicks the crap out of them, he asks them, do you have medical insurance? <laughs> yeah. Because you're going to need it. Yeah. Now, if I'm about to fight somebody and they start asking me if I have medical insurance and how far it is to the hospital, I'm probably backing down. <laughs> I'm pretty confident. But if somebody starts saying, is your Blue Cross up to date? Yeah. Just checking. Um, yeah. Is it 50 feet to the ambulance? Okay. Uh, I'm probably backing down. And it got, especially if the guy's Jack like that guy is. Yeah. Uh, but the fight scenes were good. Fight scenes were okay. A twisty camera sometimes. But hey, I didn't like the backstory of the UFC fighter part. The flashbacks all the time. Well, I didn't mind it, but I think they left it hanging. Like, I, th I thought they were going to use it 
to make his big character arc where he finally gets uh, some kind of closure on this tragedy that made him leave the USC. I, I thought they were going to use it and somehow it just got left in the dust. See, I, I liked this movie up until they introduced Big Bad, the baddie, right? The... The, Conor the, McGregor? Yeah, the uh, like he was just he was just over the top. Yeah, speaking of over much. the top eighties, okay, his no. character was way listen, over the top. Listen, Conor McGregor in this was freaking epic. No, no, he was epic. No, listen, <laughs> we're listening. His, no, <laughs> his entrance into this movie was not only hilarious, but you said, "Oh my God, nobody better f with that guy." But it was, oh, it was too much. No, no, the charisma oozing from that guy was just. No, nah, I didn't see it. You saw something different yeah. than you did. Uh, like yeah, it was cartoony, over the top. Okay, but, it, but well, it, that's it, what I'm saying. No, it was good. This was as over the top as the original Roadhouse bad guy was. In this one, <laughs> the laughing when he's hurting people and all this kind of stuff, and the main. Antagonist, the rich kid who's trying to take over the bar and all this. Oh my God, how cartoony of a character yeah. can you possibly have gotten? Yeah, he he was a weak point. Like I understood what they're really going, weak going point. for, but like the the overprivileged daddy's boy uh, who who's got too much power than he deserves. I understood that, but they overplayed it. I think way overdid it. But Conor McGregor, like he was just supposed to be a comic relief, cartoony part. And he fit the bill perfectly. I, this show is half the show it was without him. Well, he is the other co-star. It, it took so. It took. It almost took me out of the movie. Like it was. It yeah. was too much. Had they had him come in and be another serious character, like not as not as over the top comic. Movie? I think it would have made this movie a lot more epic to watch. I don't think so. I absolutely I think, do. I think exactly the way he was made me think, oh my God, that guy's unstoppable. You don't know what he's going to do. He is just so full of his own power and confidence that you don't know what's going to happen. He's going to tear you to pieces. And even though you think from the beginning of the show, you think Jake Gyllenhaal's character, oh, Dalton is going to be okay. He's a UFC fighter. He's kicked everybody's butt. You're thinking... Conor McGregor is going to take this guy apart. Just the confidence factor. There, there were, there were. Well, yes, there were moments when I thought, okay, well, yeah, they they matched him up at least good, like to make him at least, oh yeah, somebody that can, he can be fearful of, right? The Delta can be fearful of. But the silliness took me out of that. Mm. No, I thought it was great. I thought it was great when he kept on crashing his car because he just didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, well, that was funny. That part was good. So, in reality, <clears throat> I still actually prefer the 80s version I thought of the, this. I thought, being modern day, the 80s version is a piece of hot trash. And this, this Roadhouse was really good. Problem. It wasn't a 10 out of 10 because uh, the resolution of the story was kind of generic. Oh, the whole... But, the whole. Oh. But Boat flipping and car train crashing and all this. That was just I enjoyed garbage. this one so much. Okay, Paul, this is uh, how many years ago did the, what, 40 years ago? Yeah. The, the 80s version came out and we're still talking about the original. Like people still talk about the original because Rotos, they remember it. But no, listen, they're talking. Well, it's, it's a cult cult family years. guy made an episode called Roadhouse. But it's a cult, it's a cult classic. Exactly. Yes. Yes. In 40 years, no, no one will one's going to remember this one. one. They'll still be talking about the 80s version. Okay, but because Roadhouse is the 80s version and they made a streaming movie that was that some people might watch because they have the streaming service, somebody and other people won't. Patrick Swayze was a star back in the day. He was the Dirty Dancing guy. Mm -hmm. And he did Roadhouse, which at the time was okay. But it wasn't like the hot hit movie out there. It was just Roadhouse. But they're still talking about it. People weren't talking about it before this remake came out. When's the last time you talked about Roadhouse? In all of our videos, did you ever mention Roadhouse once? I might have. <laughs> once or twice. 
We're going to go back and look at our library of videos and see how many times we mentioned Roadhouse Rate now. 87 times. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is that, uh, I mean, you're saying the 80s version was trash. That's not the one that people are going to remember in another 20 years even. No, like, I'm, I'm telling you that in two years, people are not... Like, okay. I, I don't think people are talking about it in one month. Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, we're on opposite sides of which movie we prefer. You and I right now, and maybe Mark is on my side more than yours. Mm -hmm. um, in two years from now, when I decide I'm going to watch a Roadhouse movie again, it will not be the new one. Uh, it would for sure be the new one for so, me. There because, you go. Okay, now, hey, you want a project? First, I recommend watching this new Roadhouse. It's a really good show on streaming. Second, try to watch half of the original Roadhouse. Try, just try. And then come back into the comments and tell us. I didn't, okay, could you do so it? I did not go back and watch the original before watching this one because I feel like I remember it just fine. Do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. I'm gonna go back and watch it. I had no problem watching it <laughs> at all. Yeah, because I know what you do. You get your stepper and you walk around your no, kitchen actually, for 10,000 steps while it's playing in the background. No, actually I watched this sitting on the, t on the couch this time. Uh, I had done my steps already. I watched it all the way through. Um, I remembered it completely from start to finish. Um, and then you put the loop. I, it, it's away. not one of my all-time favorite movies of all time, but I like how they bring in the old guy, and he's the, he's the legend, but he's getting older. He has a limp, and he's the first guy who takes on the bad guy. In this one, they had no like backstory. They had they, no mentor. They had no, no mentor. He's just this guy, and he has this this stupid train thing at the beginning of the thing that I thought didn't need to be there at all. No, um, because yeah, but, okay, but that was part of his backstory. except except for the rest of the, the movie He has no thoughts like that going through it. He's mr. Happy guy when he's talking to people he's quiet He's happy, but he has none of those thoughts. No that's, anymore. That's why that's why I'm saying the backstory could have been leaned into more because yeah. they, they left it Yeah, they they wanted the point of going across that he's been holding back all this time Even though he's beating the crap out of people like he's slapping people instead of punching them even though he's holding back, he's holding back because of that. And once they make him cross that line and he doesn't hold back, that's when things go crazy. Yeah, but we never got there. We never got... Till the end. We didn't even get there at the end. It was, it was so underwhelming. You didn't get that, that bounce back from his past that you were anticipating. It just wasn't there. Except he was okay with absolute killing people. <laughs> at the end <laughs> like he was happy to be doing it almost at that point yeah so all right i i didn't hate the movie don't get me wrong it, i it, thought it was a fine movie it doesn't have the jeff healy band like the original had no it had horrible music and all. actually reality. i thought wow every band is Boy, different but they're all good we could not have been on more opposite pages and on and not movie. only not only were they good but they kept playing when all chaos was breaking loose inside the place sort of jeff healy he was playing through chicken wire while they were throwing bottles at his face. He couldn't see them coming. I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm thinking, uh, what, one, one, one flaming pickle? Uh, for me, out of ten. Two, two and a, well, out of five. Out of... Okay, out of ten. Out of ten. Uh, I'll give this a seven. It was fine. For a streaming movie, seven. S pretty good. Seven. Uh, it was fine. I'll even give it a seven. It was an okay movie. I didn't hate watching it. See, I would have been okay watching, uh, paying for this at the movies. I would have been okay with that. But it wouldn't have been a seven. It'd have been a six. Mm -hmm. Because the characters just didn't resonate as much with me. Because the campiness of the bad guys and the resolution of the story, I was eh on. But he really enjoyed it. So you might really enjoy it too, so check it out, The New Roadhouse on Amazon Prime.